The final piece of NASA's rocket that will send its Artemis mission to the moon is here. And as Fox 35's Alina Shirazi shows us, it's very big. Now that the final major piece of the first SLS rocket has arrived at the Kennedy Space Center, excitement of an anticipated takeoff is starting to build. If your heart stops a little bit, you feel all that pressure come off the vehicle and, and you just almost hold your breath as it goes up because it's such a beautiful sight. The 212-foot tall core stage, the largest rocket stage that has ever been built, traveled 900 miles from the Stennis Space Center in Mississippi. So the core stage is, as the name implies, the core of the SLS vehicle. And so for the first uh, several minutes, the boosters and the core provide all of the liftoff thrust. And then when the boosters run out, the core continues to fire up till about approximately eight minutes. And then our job is done and the ICPS will take over. You can see the core stage behind me, a major building block of the SLS, which will blast off for the moon no earlier than November. We'll target November. We'll work as hard as we can to that. But if something comes up, it'll move a little. And it, that's less important than getting all the data we need for Artemis II for the manned mission. You know, that's really our goal is to fully test this vehicle. Cipolletti says workers will soon attach the core stage to its solid rocket boosters, upper stage, and Orion spacecraft. Then it will be rolled out to the launch complex 39B for its last tests and finally the Artemis 1 launch. On the Space Coast, Alina Shirazi, Fox 35 News.